So just another quick video about Virtual DJ 2021 and the stems and a new pre-compute feature that has been added to the latest public release uh, time of recording, which is currently built 5949. So what is this thing? Well, if we just use the stems like they are out of the box, we can load a track. And if it's not a fast computer like this one isn't, because it doesn't have the graphic cards for it, so it has to use the CPU instead of a GPU, you can see that the stem separation, which is actually what is happening after the load, is pretty slow. And if I unload it or do it again, it's the same result. It's still slow because it calculates the stems every time we load the track. Even though the track hasn't finished loading, we can still play it like this. So we can play it while the stem separation is running, um, but it's still kind of hard on the computer. We get a lot of CPU spikes when it's using the CPU. So that may not be what you want. So can we do that something about that? Well, yeah, we can with a new pre-compute, of course. So if I right click, click the track down here and choose the new option called pre-compute stems and move up here, you can see it coming up here the latest calculating it, and you can also visually see it down at the track here. So it takes a little while to do this, like you would expect, because it's basically doing the same as before, and maybe even a little bit more. So it's finished now, and now when we load the track, the pre-computed track, like this, it's a lot faster. It's just about as fast as it can draw it, so it's not calculating it anymore. So what has actually happened? Well, if we right click this file and go into file operations and open it in Explorer, you can see that now next to the track file here, we have a second file that's the same file name, but with a new extension called VZJ stems. And another observation is that it has a really big file size, about a little bit more, two and a half times as big as the written file maybe or at least two times. So what is this thing? Well, it's kind of like if you use Track Cleaner, you get a new version of the of the track with like a helper file. So this is also a helper file for the original file, if you will. But in this case, it's so big. And why is that? Well, it's because it actually holds the calculated pre-computed stems so they can just be loaded and used. So that's the trick here. So that's of course a great feature because that means that you can now Select a bunch of tracks that you want to use the stems feature on, and then you can right click them and you can pre compute the stems, and they're ready to load really fast and play. So that's a great new feature. But uh, you may not want to do that to all the files. Uh, you might be scared what happens if you load a file that hasn't been pre computed because you have a really slow CPU. So, is there more that you can do? Well, you can actually tweak this new feature with a, with a new setting. So if I go into settings, oh no, I'm the options here, and I tap in pre-compute, you can see right now it's set to create manually. So as you saw before, just because that I load a file and it does the stem separation, it doesn't keep the stem separation. And that might, might be a good option because the stem separation is a pretty big file. So if you do that to all your files, you'll get more than twice the size of your track collection. So that might be uh, good for you if you, uh, if you just wanna do it on a bunch of files and then don't care about the slower load time if uh, you load a file where it hasn't been done. And that will probably typically be a file where you don't wanna use the stem separation anyway. But you can also do always create. So what does that do? Well, if I select always create, now, we'll unload this file, where well, we know that's already a manually created a helper stems file, and load the next track. You can see it's just as slow as the other one was. In the beginning. But the difference is that if I now right click this one and take it to the Explorer, it does have a new helper file down here, even though I haven't 
explicitly aft to get it because I've set it to always generate it. So now if I unload this file without having right click and done anything and load it again, it loads just as fast because it automatically store what it did the first time it was loaded. So that's a great second option, especially if you have uh, enough disk space and a fast computer. So, um, so it does it pretty fast for when it uh, when it loads them um, the first time. But if you don't have a GPU, so a fast computer, but not a specific graphic card, then it just stores it, so at least it'll be fast the next time. So taking up the extra disk space. But as you saw, there was also a third option. So what's that option? Well, the third option here. is only use pre-computed. So what does that do? Well, the idea is here that if I load <clears throat> the first track I did here, it gets that instantly and you can use the stems. So I can play this track. And I can check out all the stuff, right? Only bring the keep packing and so on. So it works great and it was fast because it had the uh, the stem separation file next to it. Now, if I unload that and load the next one, same thing, we have the stem separation next to it. But if I load a third one, maybe expecting it to be slow because we don't have the stem separation file next to it, it's fast, but nothing happens then. So that's because in this mode, it does, just doesn't do the stem separation unless you do it manually with the right click option. So that might be a great solution if you're having a slow computer and you're scared that it'll actually, uh, you're scared about the CPU spikes and you're scared about a low, slow load time and annoyed by the very slow load time, then you can just pre-compute the tracks you want to use them on from home. And then you can disable the automatic generation of the uh, separation of the stems so that it doesn't do it if it doesn't already have it. Uh, so of course the backside to this is that if I play this track, and take out everything over here again. Nothing happens because it doesn't have any stem separation. So these stem buttons, they simply don't do anything. So that's the, that's the flip side of setting up, up like that. But it's still a great feature because then you could just see visually if it has stems because of the colors. And then if it has, you can use the the stems, that means you pre-computed them from home and you can use them. And if it doesn't, well, you know, you can't use the stems feature on this particular track. And then maybe you can uh, right click it while you DJ or you can prepare it home before your next gig. So that was the new pre-compute of the stem separation or the stems feature in the new virtual DJ uh, 2021, the latest public release.